How's it going guys? This past Black Friday was amazing. I had a fire going in the fireplace. My family and I put up the Christmas tree and then I put up a pull-up bar. All right, but this isn't just any pull-up bar. This is the Bull Bar 2.0. And the simplicity of how you set this thing up and take it down just blew me away and how portable it is too. So I had to feature it on the channel. So this is gonna be my Bull Bar 2.0 review. All right guys, I'm skipping the usual introduction and I'm just gonna dive right in because there's a lot to unpack here. I wanna talk about the unboxing because I recorded that. I also wanna explain the setup and takedown and just how amazing it is. Go through all the exercises you can do with it, plus more, all right? So let's start with the unboxing. So like I said, it was Black Friday. I had a fire going in the fireplace and I started to unbox this huge rectangular box that said do pull-ups anywhere on it. And you know me, guys, when I saw that on the box, I was really intrigued, and I thought that's a pretty big statement to live up to. But surprisingly, spoiler, it does live up to it, and I'll explain why later. But once you open the box, the first thing I found was this brown sheet of paper that was covering the whole top, and that sheet of paper had 10 different exercises on it. And what I realized at that point was that this is more than a pull-up bar. This is a all-in-one like calisthenics home gym. You can do a lot with this. It's not just pull-ups. Now, once I removed that brown sheet of paper with all the exercises, I found the instructions for the setup and takedown. I also found some decals, right, like the bull bar logo, as well as some rubber feet with adhesive backing. So you can put those on the bottom to prevent any unwanted friction on your hardwood floors or tile floors or any kind of hard surface you might use it on. And there's also these two attachments, right? They're the parallel bar attachments that can attach to the vertical bars. And I'll show you that when we do the setup. Then once I removed all that stuff, there was the bull bar in its folded down state. And when it's folded down like that, you can actually lift it up like it's a briefcase or something. It's very portable, very easy to move around. But real quick, before I show you the setup and takedown, I just have to mention this. Bull Bar is currently offering a promotional price for the Bull Bar 2.0. That means it's currently priced at $50 less than it will be retailed at at some point in 2024 when they raise the price to its retail price. So you can get $50 off plus I have a discount code for you. All right, That discount code is minus 20. So if you use minus 20 at checkout, you can get an additional $20 off. That's a total of $70 off the retail price. All right, so just keep that in mind. I'll have a link down below that'll take you straight to the Bull Bar 2.0. All right, so the setup and takedown. Let's actually start with the takedown because I have it in this setup state right here in my living room. So let's say it's set up and you wanna take it down and you wanna bring it to your garage. There's really three types of components that have to be removed or inserted when you are taking it down or bringing it up. Those components are the red safety pins, the black hinge clamps on the sides, as well as the legs, all right? So those are the three components. So when taking it down, first thing you would do is remove the four safety pins. They're the red things that you can see right here. And they're very easy to take out. Next is the four hinge clamps. So I like to start with the two at the bottom near the base. Then I come up and I unhinge the two clamps that are at hip level. At that point, you can easily just fold it down and it packs nicely together and then you can fold in the legs. And the legs use push buttons. So you just hold in a push button and then fold in the four legs. It's very simple. Now lastly, when you've taken it down like this and it's in its folded up state, two of the hinge clamps, uh, they like lock and hold the thing together. So it's like a briefcase. You can pick it up by the top horizontal bar and you can walk around with it. You can bring it to the garage or you can bring it to your car and put it in the trunk and take it to your buddy's house or the park or wherever you wanna go. And that's what I mean when they really lived up to that statement that you can do pull-ups anywhere. This thing is very portable. Now, but let's say you're just going to the garage, right? Because that's our scenario. So you go to the garage, you unclamp the two side hinge clamps that were holding it together in its folded state. And then what you would do to set it up is you basically do that stuff kind of in the opposite order, right? You would use the push buttons and you would fold out all four of the legs first, and then you bring it up. Make sure you push the side vertical parts, those bars, so they're perfectly straight. And at that point, it's a matter of just locking the four hinge clamps, and then you just put in the four safety pins, and you're good to go. So it's basically, I would say, 
if you're not racing the clock, it's like a minute, roughly one minute or so to bring it up or take it down once you get used to it. It's amazingly simple. And I think that is what I really love about this product. I mean, it's highly portable. Um, like I said, you can bring it to a buddy's house or the park or wherever, but the setup and takedown is just so amazingly simple. And once you get used to it, you don't even have to think about it. It's like one minute flat, boom, you're done. And I also mentioned that there's two parallel bar attachments, right? These attach even easier. You just slide this end into one of the holes in the vertical bars on each side, and then you tilt it. And tilting it is what locks it into place. It's that simple, it's seconds. Seconds to attach and to detach and remove it. So uh, with that said, let's take a look at the exercises. So obviously being a freestanding pull-up bar, you can do pull-ups and you can do wide grip, you can do standard about shoulder width grip, you can do narrow grip, you can also do chin-up grip, which would be supinated with your palms facing you. Uh, and again, with chin-ups, you can do wide, standard, and narrow. If you want, you can do like a staggered neutral grip. Uh, they call those commando pull-ups. All right, I do those now and then, those are fun. So pretty much any pull-up variation that you would do on a freestanding pull-up bar, you can do here. And of course, hanging, right? You can hang with both arms, you can hang with one arm. Uh, you can do hanging core exercises, right? Like knee raises and leg raises or holding like a hanging L-sit position. So there's a lot you can do just with that horizontal bar at the top of this. But then you've got the parallel bar attachments, right? And you've got three holes, three different height settings to attach those. So in the top setting, you can do dips. You guys know I'm a big fan of dips. I consider them to be kind of like the squat of the upper body. So I'm very happy to see that they have dip attachments for the Bull Bar 2.0. But wherever you can do dips, you can also do L-sits, right? So you can come up into an L-sit, work on that. You can do tucked L-sits and work on your, your full L-sit. And that's a decent height to also do rows. So if you can't even do a pull up yet, you're still working on your negatives or your hanging, like your bent arm hang and your straight arm hang, well then go ahead and work on your horizontal pulls by doing rows. Then on the lower height settings, you can do things like tricep presses. You can even do push-ups, right? You can do incline push-ups or low push-ups with those lower settings. Also at the bottom of the Bull Bar 2.0 are some hooks that you can put a resistance band through. And that allows you to add resistance to say squats, right? If you put the band around your body, now you're doing resisted squats. And that's pretty sweet. It's like doing a weighted squat. So you're adding lower body into the mix. You can also put one of your feet up onto the attachments and do split squats as well. And those, most of those are exercises that are right on that piece of paper that you see when you take the lid off. But there are other exercises I've done on here. For example, you can hang your rings on here and now you've, you've got a place to hang your rings if you've got them. Not to mention there are some other exercises I've done where um, let's just say that the, the folks at Bull Bar probably for safety reasons don't want me demonstrating them so I'm not gonna show them in this video but you can get pretty creative. You can do some fun stuff here. I feel very safe using the Bull Bar. By the way, um, speaking of safety, I know a lot of you are probably gonna ask, how sturdy is it? Is there any wobble, right? So let's talk about that. So when it comes to wobble on a freestanding pull-up bar, I mean, the truth is any freestanding bar is going to have a little bit of wobble to it. I've never used any freestanding pull-up bar that doesn't move a little bit, right? Because it's just the nature of it not being anchored into the ground. And even with that said, I built an anchored pull-up bar in my backyard. I cemented the beams a meter into the ground, and yet it still had some wobble if I did explosive exercises on it. So even an anchored bar, if you're not an expert craftsman, you know, which I'm obviously not, uh, even an anchored bar might have some wobble. So this, okay, being freestanding, you cannot do kipping, you cannot do explosive pull-ups, um, you wouldn't want to train muscle-ups on it. I, you know, like I said, freestanding bars aren't really designed for that. With that said, I will say there is no side-to-side -side movement at all when I use it. There is a little bit of forward to back movement with the top half uh, here, like these top half vertical bars. And that's just, I think, inherent with the nature of the design. I mean, keep in mind, this is a foldable, portable, freestanding pull-up bar. So with that kind of design, you're gonna have a little bit of movement. It's inevitable, right? And I don't consider that a downside and it doesn't at all affect how safe I feel when using it. It's just, you can tell when you're using it, like, okay, this is just the nature of having a foldable pull-up bar. 
but it doesn't take away from it at all, in my opinion. Weight capacity for the Bull Bar 2.0 is 300 pounds, and that's great. I weigh currently, I think around 180, 185, somewhere in there. So I could max out my weight vest. It's only a 44 pound vest. Uh, I could do weighted pull-ups on here and not even come close to the, the weight capacity. So just wanted to mention that for any of you heavier people out there, if you're wondering if this thing can support you. And also the height. Rather than just reading you the specs on the Bull Bar 2.0 product page, I decided I would measure it myself and tell you what I see in the measurements. So it's just shy of 39 inches wide and the legs from like the absolute front to the absolute back is 57 and a half inches. So I will put metric on the screen because I know a lot of you guys use metric, which I wish we did here in the US, so it would just make everything easier. Um, but for everybody in the United States, it's uh, so it's 39 wide, 57 and a half inches deep, I guess you would say. And I got 80.5 inches, 80 and a half tall. So again, I don't consider that like a, a pro or a con, you know, the height of a pull-up bar because it's all part of their design. I mean, you could say that this is a little shy of seven feet, right? So you could say, well, that's, that's not tall enough for me, but then for another person who's shorter, that might be a great height, right? Um, it just barely fits in my basement, but I got plenty of space here in the living room. So it really depends on who's using it and where they're gonna use it. Guys, I gotta say, I used to watch um, a lot of the New York scene, like the calisthenics guys out there going to the different workout parks. And then I saw, I forget the channels, I think Broly Gaines was one of them, and I forget who else, but they would bring uh, like a pull-up bar into public in the street and people would be, you know, they'd be hosting a pull-up challenge right in the middle of New York, like in the streets. And I'm like, where did they get a bar like that, that they can just set it up in the streets? Well, here you go. <laughs> Bull Bar 2.0 and prob probably the Bull Bar 1.0 is what they were probably using because I've never seen something so easy to set up. You can just carry this out into the street, pop it up and have a pull-up challenge and there you go. So I'm absolutely thrilled to have this thing. It's such a cool product. Um, I'm, I'm honored to feature it here on the channel. And I know guys, I, I want to apologize. I've been doing a lot of product reviews. I did, my last video was a product review. This one is, and the next one will be too, but tis the season, right? And at this time of year, I have so many companies reaching out to me to review their products. I'm not kidding. It's every single day, seven days a week, uh, multiple emails a day usually. So I've probably had, I mean, easily dozens of emails saying, hey, will you review our product? And I've chosen only three. And this is one of the three that I've decided to feature this year uh, for the holiday season. So this, this really is, it really lives up to like, you know, my expectations and what they said on the box, do pull-ups anywhere. I just want to remind you guys that currently it's late 2023. They have a promotional pricing, $50 off their retail price, and you can use minus 20, that's my discount code, to get an additional $20 off. So that's $70 savings currently. Even if you miss that promotional offer though, you can still use my discount code and save the 20 bucks. So keep that in mind. I have a link down below. I hope I didn't forget to mention anything. I tried to be as thorough as possible. Please hit that like button if I did help you out, if you were interested in this product and my review was helpful. And uh, yeah, subscribe and stay tuned. And after the new year, guys, it's going to be back to the usual content. Lots of workouts, exercises, nutrition, all the good stuff. All right. So I look forward to it and I'll see you then.